Hello everyone, and welcome back to my video. Basically, if y'all watched my random facts about me video, I briefly mentioned that I was in Boy Scouts back in the day. I didn't really go into depth in that video, so that's what this video is about. I'm gonna talk about my experience as a Boy Scout, and why I quit, and all that stuff. So if you like these videos, remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Also follow me on Twitter, because for some reason I never promote it. First off, I want to preface this by saying, Boy Scouts isn't bad. It was actually kind of fun, at least while I was there. The reason I'm complaining so much is because it makes for good content. Anyways, Boy Scouts was actually pretty cool. The troop that I was in mainly focused on like hiking and backpacking and camping and all that stuff. Every weekend was some type of trip. One weekend was a hike, the very next weekend was a camping trip, the next weekend was a hike. Like it never ended. Now there's two things you'll need to know about me. One, I complained a lot, and two, I don't like exercise. The scout leaders were always trying to get me to go on these trips, but I never failed to say no. Because like I said, I don't like exercise and I complained a lot, so I almost never went on those trips. I did go on a few though, like once every two months. As a scrawny little gay boy who hated exercise, backpacking was like the worst thing I've ever experienced. If you don't know what backpacking is, basically it's like this. You hike up a mountain with a big backpack full of camping equipment, so that's like an extra 50-ish pounds that you're carrying on your back. The destination that you're hiking to is a campsite, and once you make it to the campsite, you set up your camp, you stay the night, and then in the morning, you pack it all up and go back the way you came. If I had a dollar for every time I went backpacking, I would have two dollars. It's not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. I actually have a funny story about Boy Scouts. So in Boy Scouts, there's this annual summer camp that we go to. The summer camp was actually the one thing I liked about being a Boy Scout. Anyways, at the summer camp, you had to do this initiation type thing. It was really weird. It's called Polar Bear. Now let me give you a rundown of what you have to do. So you're at summer camp, in the mountains might I add. You and your troop wake up at 6 a.m. You change into your swimming gear, you go to the swimming pool. And here's the best part. You have to get on all fours, crawl around the pool, and yell, RRR, I love my fishies. You can't make this up. But wait, there's more. You then had to get in the pool, again at 6am when you're swimming clothes. Get in the pool, the staff spray you with cold water, while you chant or 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 I love my fishies. You also had to get into a small pool of ice and continue chanting, like we get it Linda, you're pescatarian. Looking back on it, it's on the list of the funniest things I've ever experienced. I want to talk more about summer camp, because it was one of the highlights of my boy scout experience. So at summer camp, you're there like Monday through Friday and you take classes, like basically you're at school. But instead of normal school subjects like English, math, and science, you had the Boy Scout subjects like archery, astronomy, and orienteering. To this day, I don't remember what the hell orienteering was, but I did it. Also, side note, you had to actually hike up a mountain to get to the astronomy class, and I'm still salty about it. Anyways, as mentioned previously, I'm extremely lazy, so I did all the classes that don't involve exercise. I made pottery, I did leatherworking. I don't know what the hell leatherworking is, but I did it. I learned about rocks, I shot a bow and arrow, it was a wonderful time. And once you complete all 5 days of these classes, you earn the merit badge for them. So I now have merit badges for the dumbest things. I have a chess merit badge, like I literally played chess and then got a merit badge for it. I loved summer camp, it was great. So you guys might be asking yourselves, random, if you loved Boy Scouts so much, why did you leave? Well here's why. In case you guys don't know already, one of the things that I really really care about is friendship. If you guys watched my last two videos, the topic of friendship and having friends is a reoccurring topic on my channel. In my YouTubers I Love video, I talk about being jealous of people playing with their friends. In my 50 Facts About Me video, I talk about wanting YouTube friends. Like it's a reoccurring theme on my channel at this point. During my time in Boy Scouts, I didn't really have friends. I talked to the other kids once in a while, but they weren't my close friends. They were all BFFs and I was kind of the one left out. Now another thing I should note, I don't like being lonely. So that, on top of the being left out thing, on top of the hating exercise, the odds weren't exactly in my favor. Like what's the point of being part of a group if you're always the one left out? It didn't make sense to me, so I left. I remember the day I told the scout leaders I wanted to leave, like I remember it vividly. There were two leaders here, like a guy and a girl. The guy wanted me to stay, he was like, come on, just stay, it'll be fine, give it one more shot. Like he saw potential and wanted me to stay. The woman on the other hand, like she wanted me gone. Like I said, I complained a lot about exercise, and if there's one thing she loved, it was exercise. So she had no problem sending me on my way. She was like, oh, what a shame, bye. <laughs> we both hated each other, it was mutual. Well, there you have it, I guess. If you like these videos, remember to like and subscribe. 
Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!